Hi, I'm Mark Gooday from uh, Ashdown in the UK. Um, I started this uh, company, uh, Ashdown, in 1997 after, uh, well, 15 years of Trace Elliott, which was a great part of my history and uh, led me to making more and more bass amps around the world. I'm here at Chicago Music Exchange trying to uh, go through, extol the virtues of the amps we build. And the ones you see in front of you here are, are British made. Uh, we have a range of uh, CL cabs that go with the lovely valve amps. This is a CTM 300. Uh, there's a CTM 100, a CTM 30, and a CTM 15. That's a lot of valve amps, mainly because I like valve amps. It's, it's, it's simple. I, I mean, I like valve amps. So, Maestro, we're going to have a little play. Um, we're we're going to have a play, show you what the mellow switch sounds like now. I want to just have a little twang. So all that's doing is softening the sound, adding a little bit of bass, taking a bit of middle out, and just uh, add a little bit of treble. And it just gives this a mellow tone. So if you're just going to groove along somewhere, uh, that's all it's going to do. It's going to soften it up. They're not huge EQ changes. You'll see that. If you want big EQ changes, buy you know, a different type of amp. What can I say? That's, 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 that's what it's about. Um, then we get into the deep, which, again, you can hear. I'm not sure you hear it on this recording that well because it is very deep and it comes out through the speakers. It moves the air down at the bottom. And as we would have a play now, some... I can hear that coming in down here. I'm not sure it'll come out in the recording. I hope so. So that's, that's very deep. And as you start popping these buttons in, uh, we'll have a little bit of mid now and get some uh, nice finger style on some mid going. So you can hear that really does cut in there. And if you're in a band, I think bass players kind of know that you do need uh, the mids, the low mids cutting through above the drummer and uh, getting your own groove in there. And uh, people underestimate mids. They underestimate the fatness you need of a bass in that range to cut through in a band. Uh, and that's why a lot of little amps today, they sound great in your shop, but they just don't cut it on a stage. And right. that's, that's kind of people, people misinterpret interpret what real bass is about. And it's, it's that low mid really pushing through. And you need a lot of power. You know, that's, that's the other thing. You really need huge power to, to actually get this to cut through. Uh, we'll have a little play with the treble now. And we'll, you'll hear as uh, the, the treble sings through. And then we'll go back to some gain on the front end, a little bit more drive on the back end. So we'll have a little bit of treble now. We're getting there, we're getting some grind, a little bit of drive going in, and that just adds, you can hear all the nuances of your finger style, and because it's all tube, you're getting a, a third harmonics, you're getting little touches of sound to it that you don't normally hear, and you'll notice it a lot in the studio, especially mic'd up as this is, and we've got DIM mic on it. And this is a 57? Cool, just thought we'd make sure people know. Um, now we're going to pop in now, we're going to drive up the front end a little bit and just experiment with some tones. You're going to do some plectrum. Right, we'll front up there. We'll get a bit of bass in it and we'll have a little play, all yours. You know, and if we, I, we daren't turn it up in here, but as the back end drives, uh, we're, on, we're only touching this thing for power. As the back end drive, it just becomes a monster. And uh, I think, you know, if you're on stage with, in that kind of band, which is the, the music I, I like now, Queens and stuff, <laughs> and you need, you need that, and you need that power driving. And ideally, I'd use a 610 or an 810 every time with this. I wouldn't really go much smaller. Yeah, two 410s are going to give you a different sound because they're tuned. Um, and we do make a, we actually make a very powerful uh, 600 watt 410, 414 with kickback and wheels in this CL range. Um, that will handle it, but you're getting a nice sealed cabinet in the 610s and the 810s, and the punch and the attack and the speed of response when you're playing like that is, is, is massive in bass playing. Um, that's really about it. Um, we're going to move on to a little thing called the CTM 15, which is absolutely tiny compared to this, but it achieves a very similar uh, sound at a lot lower volume. 
Uh, we're still at uh, Chicago Music Exchange having a great time and um, we were talking about the CTM 300 a second ago which is just so loud that uh, you daren't turn it up in here. So we couldn't really demonstrate the uh, ridiculous amount of back end drive and complete rock sound we could out of it. This little baby, and this is the, the only one in this colour in the world, uh, which we built specifically to bring out here for the trip to Chicago Music Exchange. Um, it's stupid simple. It's again, full passive preamp, bass middle treble, gain. There is nothing else to do. This measures the output on the meter. You've got very simple jacks on the back. It is a recording amp. You'll be surprised in a minute when you hear how loud it is because you, you, you can do a small gig with this for definite. But it was about the tone. It was about the fact you can get all these nuances from really beautiful finger style and six string style if you have one, which pretty clean. Remember, it is only 15 watts tube. Um, to monstrous overdriven, Sabbath defying rock. And yeah, that sounds a little bit over the top, but you'll hear in a minute, it's, <laughs> it really isn't that over the top. It's my favorite little baby at the moment. Um, we make a 30 watt one, which started life being called The Little Bastard, and uh, we've had a few problems with the name. That was named after James Dean's car, The Little Bastard, the Porsche. Yeah. It was designed around the style of his car, oh, nice. and uh, he had that Porsche that uh, he died in called The Little Bastard, and that was why we named it after that, because we're kind of all car mad. I mean, this is Austin Healey Ice Blue Metallic. If you see an Austin Healey sports car, that's where the badge came from. Sorry, no one sue me. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, we, and we, we do that sort of thing. You know, we like to play with stuff. And uh, we're all car freaks, we're all guitar freaks, we're all musical mad. So, um, again, very simple input. Because it's got a gain control, we don't have to worry too much about the passive active side of things. And again, it's all been designed with good old fashioned basses. So, we're going to have a little play again. All of these, when they're turned down, you're not going to get any sound. Please plug the speaker in before you turn it on. Give it a few seconds to warm up. And when you put it down afterwards, let the little tubes kind of cool down a little bit. It, it, it'll be nice, you know. Um, and it'll, again, extend your life a bit. But please also, don't be afraid to overdrive the hell out of it. Right, we're going to have a... This is as clean as you're going to get. We're going to have a little bit of bass. Thank you. I, and I can turn it down. We'll have to do a little bit again. I'll turn it down a bit and clean it up a little bit more. Let's go again. So you could just, I was being a bit bad there, just winding up a little bit on the back end. And that's getting you the back end of the amp overdriving. We're going to turn that, back that off again to where it was clean. It's about clean just before halfway. And that is as clean as you're going to get it at 15 watts of tube. And that's what you wanted to do as a tube amp. Now we're going to wind up the front end of the tube preamp. And uh, we'll have a little bit of fun with this going now. We're just going to have one little last wind and maybe a bit of plectrum and I'm going to wind up the front end and the back end on this and uh, yeah, I'm sorry it'll hurt your ears. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Don't you just love it? I love it. Thank you, Mark. That's brilliant. I haven't got much more to say. It speaks for itself, man. It's uh, my little baby. And if you want to have fun with, with, with tone in the studio, please buy one of these little babies uh, from these guys here. <laughs> thank you. Mark from Chicago Music Exchange. And Mark, thank you, man. Pleasure. My pleasure, too.